Alright guys, it is time for another big box of random cars from Facebook. We don't know what we're going to get because like I said, this box gets built over a period of time. There's going to be, there's a lot of cars in here, there's probably around 30 or so. We're going to make a little bit of room and we are just going to go ahead and just grab them randomly open them up talk about them you know a little bit i'm gonna pull my table over to me here so i have somewhere to set these things where we're going and let's open them up and talk about them all right so i got this off a of facebook group i've explained this before i did one other episode just like this one um, basically these are sold in jammers i'm just gonna give you a quick synopsis uh, they're sold in jammers they uh, show you a picture of the jammer you say the letter number of where the car is located and if you're the first person to comment that letter number you get it for whatever the price the buy it now price is for, for the cars in that particular jammer uh, most of these are going to be three dollars the majority of them are three dollar purchases so there might be a couple in there that might have been a little bit more um, but yeah the majority is about three bucks Okay, and then once you have a build-up box, you just once I add it up to about 30, 40 cars, I usually say, hey, you know, go ahead and ship me. And they usually ship in a uh, flat rate box. All right, so this one is a Johnny Lightning. It is the Nissan 350Z. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. Um, some of this is a little bit of a crapshoot too, because you, you are looking at a picture that is not very high resolution and you're only seeing one side of the car. And you know, they don't take the time to explain the condition of each car. They're not, they don't have time to do that. The sellers don't, they just put them up. Um, you say whether you're not at this one, you know, it looks to be good. It's just like these hubcap things, the way the Johnny Lightning does, they're like three piece wheels are coming out. So I just pop those back in and then it's good to go. Uh, I did not actually have this one. I've got like a weird little odd custom I got from Andrew Jeremko of this casting, but I didn't have one just straight up. So I'm glad to get this Johnny Lightning and check it off this list. This is a modern Johnny Lightning casting. These are actually pretty limited, I think. Probably like 2,500 pieces or so, something along those lines. So I'm glad to check it off the list for three bucks. That's less than retail. I'm a loose car collector. I don't care that it doesn't have a card, obviously. And uh, go ahead. Um, I do try to conserve. He ships these in these awesome little padded or bubble wrap bags, which are pretty sweet and they're definitely you know reusable, which is nice because I use them to. Uh, uh, pack some stuff for my buddy Dyke Castro. And this we got a Corvette. It's a green light. It's an older green light. I couldn't tell you offhand what series it's from. Number 1688. Uh, there, tooling number 8. It's got a green post, so you know it's older. Um, just a green light I didn't have in my collection. Got some roughness up here with the paint on the plastic top. These are also available in a convertible format. That's why they have the uh, plastic roof. It's got an opening hood feature. It looks pretty good. Pretty good shape. Mirrors are intact. Those would probably be the first things to bust off. And uh, does have a little bit of a lens detail or insert detail for a headlamp that's over a painted detail, which is kind of nice. It's not a bad casting. Not a bad vet casting. Pretty cool. We just got to keep her moving here. It looks like we got another Corvette in here. Um, so what I usually go for uh, in this are green lights I don't have. Well, really anything cool, right? But green lights I don't have. And, uh, you know, if there's loose auto world, I pick it up. This one's just going to have to get ripped. It's stuck on too tight. And it looks like we have another green light Corvette. And it's the same tooling. This time in yellow. Yeah, that one's garbage. Uh, looks like it's in great shape. Again, it's older. Look at the number on that one. 1111. That is pretty cool. Oh, it's amazing how oxidized these bases get. 
So that's the other thing. So this guy obviously buys collections and then posts these cars, right? So who knows where he gets these cars from? Pretty sweet nonetheless. So I'm happy with that one. That's a good one. It's a winner. We're going to have some losers in here, I'm sure. That, that one's a winner. <coughs> so a cool vet. I'm going to try to keep these organized by brand over here to my left. Okay, I don't know what this is. And when I saw this, I'm like, what is that? And I guess the only way to find out is to, to buy it. And then uh, when you get it, we can investigate. So let's go ahead and open up this one. What? It's a Johnny Lightning. Aerovet. Okay, that is pretty cool, and someone's going to have to educate me in the air of it. Was that a concept car? Because obviously it's Corvette inspired. Man, this is weird. It's a. It's got to be an older Johnny Lightning. A copyright date, 1996, playing Mantis. 1980 air of it. So that has to be... A concept car, right? It looks like it has gullwing doors. Uh, Mid-engined. So is this supposed to be what the first mid-engined Corvette was going to look like? I don't know. Somebody that knows a lot more about real cars would probably comment down below. It's cool, though. It's got a cool color. It looks, I don't know, looks very, you know, late-70s-esque concept car. So pretty awesome. All right, I like that one. That, one, that one's really neat. That's a winner. It's different. Uh, let's see what this one is. I'm trying to open these as fast as I can, but I'm trying to conserve this uh, paper. This is cool. Yeah, it's in kind of rough shape, but I think this is a speed machine. And speed machines, of course, don't come cheap. This one's obviously been played with, though. It's an Audi TT S. I wonder how that's coming across on camera, but the uh, the windshield is rough. Mm, it's kind of rough. A little bit of rust in there. Again, it was probably like two bucks. Some of them were, these were two bucks. Some of these were three bucks. And yeah, this one's kind of rough. This would have been a really fantastic score if it was in mint condition, and then I would have got it for a couple of dollars because these cars just don't come cheap. And I'm pretty sure it's a speed machine. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but I think it is. Anyway, I don't know if this one's going to end up staying in the collection. I don't mean, like, I, I've said this before. I don't mean to be, like, snooty, I guess, about it. It's just my collection's huge, right? It's more cars than really, if you think about it, anybody should really ha have in their collection. So I just really don't have room in my collection for played with cars that don't have any nostalgia to me. So this one is a green light, obviously. It is a 2013 Chrysler 300, number 4191, tooling number 74. It's kind of a nice casting. I think I've got a version of this casting with a plastic base because I think it was originally released in a Motor World series. It's got a kind of odd paint job where it's sparkly weirdly it's got like an imprint uh, number 30 up there I don't know if a car was originally sitting on top of this and imprinted it but that is somewhat strange I would say yeah pretty neat we've got to keep her moving here because we have a lot of cars to go through uh, this next one looks like a Hot Wheels there's not going to be too many Hot Wheels in here. Hot Wheels get snapped up immediately if they're cool. Obviously, Hot Wheels is the most popular brand of die cast, I would say. And here, this is... Now, I picked this up because I collect the Volkswagen Bugs. Is that metal? Yeah, it is metal. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. And honestly, I don't know what's going on here with this. It's a custom. 
and that would be why I haven't seen it before. It is drilled out. It is glued back together. And honestly, the paint job is pretty awesome. Um, it does like a, it's like pearlescent. It does like a fade from like this blue to like this darker blue. But it is a custom. And that's another thing I don't go for is customs. I just don't. Again, I have my own customs in my collection. I have some others from some friends that are near and dear to me. Uh, some customs in the collection that I really, really enjoy. Um, this one will sit there with my custom collection for now, but a lot of some of those cars I'm not hanging on to forever. I just don't have unlimited space. So when you don't have unlimited space, you have to pick and choose. Uh, this next car, if you watched my last episode, I can think I can kind of tell through the packaging here. Oh, shoot. We're just ripping this one open. I got this car in the last box, I think. And it was in pretty rough shape. Or at least not in that great a shape. It was okay, uh, but it wasn't great. And then it looks like I got a second shot at it. Here it is. This is an Ertl American Muscle. 1962... Catalina and this one appears to be in much better condition than the last one I got which is good because I, I wanted an example of this and these cars are kind of tough to find cheap they have opening trunks it's a little dirty it could be cleaned up a little bit they have opening trucks they have opening hoods Looks pretty good. So that, that one's going to be a keeper for me. I'm a fan of the Ertl American Muscle stuff. I, I pick up any of those that I don't have whenever I see them affordable. Uh, this next one is a Porsche. Looks to be a Hot Wheels. If I can find where this thing opens. And it's in not the best shape. I got this thing cheap again. This I think this is from the Boulevard series. There's some chips in it. The windshield's a little rough. So it appears that this car was played with. Is what it looks like. Mm, not great. Probably not going to keep it in the collection. So this one's a little bit of a dud. So we've got... Uh, so far, I would say, if you count the custom as a dud, but the custom's pretty cool, we've got three duds out of here, and one, two, three, four, five, six keepers. Uh, so let's continue on. This is going to be a long video. This is cool. So it's a Majorette Citroen XM, number 254. This one we are going to classify right away as a winner. It is weird, it is odd, and I like it. Hood opens. Plastic detail in there for the motor, which looks a little odd, but pretty cool. And yeah, I like this because it's extremely weird. Um, I don't even know if this is the correct proportion, how this car is supposed to look. It's definitely going to be, I believe, larger then 164 scale oh it's in 161 scale so they put the scale on the base which often the older majorette stuff was larger than 164 but i'm going to call this one aware it's kind of cool it's kind of cool to get some older majorette some of the older stuff is is it, it's interesting die cast to have in the collection i guess to say the least so i think that's uh that's pretty neat pretty neat pretty cool so that goes in the oddball pile <coughs> Uh, let's see here what we got next. This, okay, so it's Oldsmobile 442. It says High Speed China. So this one is the actual high speed version of this casting. There is a um, version of which that is a green light casting as well. This was used as is a green light motor world car. Um, 
from the Greenlight Motor World line. This Oldsmobile. It's a decent looking tooling. It's not the best, but it uh, it's a winner to me because um, I try to get like examples of the older Greenlight stuff, and I I do I believe I do. I'm pretty sure I've got an example of this. I'm trying to peek over at my green light stuff right now, and um, whatever, I can't see it right now, but I am pretty sure it's the same, but I thought for some reason the one that I had had plastic wheels and not rubber. So that's something I'm going to have to check out. These are rubber, and it looks pretty good, and I'm pretty sure the one, you know, it actually does say green light on the base and not high speed, so... So this is a legit high-speed casting, and I don't know if this was ever released under the Malibu die cast name. I don't think so, because those are all screwed to the base. So I'm not sure how this was released. But that makes it interesting, and uh, that's a cool one that, that goes in the kind of oddball uh, die cast pile here. Uh, next, what do we have here? Oh, this looks like a Hot Wheels Firebird. And here it is. And this one was a mistake. <clears throat> and that's the thing. You got to be quick on these things. Otherwise, you will not get the car that you want. And this one was a mistake. Honestly, I think when I saw this from afar, I thought it was the Johnny Lightning version of this Firebird. And this one, like the back wheels rub. I've got this car already, so it's not one that I need. I don't remember what series it's in, though. I think it might have been just a mainline car. Not sure, but that back wheel doesn't turn anyway. So this one's a dud. So we got basically four duds so far. So we're doing we're doing pretty decent. Hopefully the the deals will far outweigh the duds. Sometimes I'm just doing this too super quick, and that's why you make you make little mistakes. So this next one's an Auto World Deluxe casting. It's got a little bit of like dust on it. Kind of clean that off a little bit. Sorry. So I could do that off camera, right? And it looks okay. It's a winner to me because I like Auto World. Did I did I need it? No, I, I have it, um, so I really didn't need it. But here it is loose, and I already have one loose too. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, this one's kind of rough too. But the thing is, is I'm trying to even if this is rough, this is okay. If I ever get back into customizing again, I did want to mess around with some Auto World Deluxe castings. I've got two actually that I've already got drilled apart, sitting on my workbench. Eventually, that I might get to and do something with, but uh, I guess that's probably going to join that. But I guess we can call that a dud because it's in a it's in a bit of not in great shape. What do we have next? This one looks to be a winner. It's a 70 Challenger. Uh, this one, I'm going to guess, is likely from the Garage series. It might be from Boulevard. I think it's from the Garage, though, because I don't know. Did Boulevard have detailed, like, full deco? I guess this one really doesn't either. Uh, it looks to be in pretty good shape. It's like a little mark up here on the top, but that could, definitely could have came out of the package like that. So it's basically blister pull shape. And it looks pretty good. So then I'll add to my Hot Wheels collection. It's not a bad buy for a couple bucks. Yeah, if you know what series that's from, comment in the comments below. I think that is from either Garage. It's got to be Garage or Boulevard. I'm pretty sure this next one's from Garage series. It's a Hot Wheels custom Volkswagen Beetle. It's in really good shape. You can tell it was displayed though um, out of the package for some time because there is some dust build up in there. So that will have to get uh, 
cleaned out some compressed air I think this is from the garage series again I don't know uh, offhand I'm not super familiar with, with what all was in that series so someone in the comments definitely will let me know but uh, this one's a winner glad to have that one uh, let's see what's next I told you this is going to be a long video, and I did not lie. This is going to be a long video. We are going to have to speed up this process. Okay, Pontiac GTO. This is a Johnny Lightning. Appears to be in pretty good shape. Not sure what series it's from. Got to check it off my Johnny Lightning GTO list, though, because this is a casting I sort of offhand collect. Um... And we'll definitely have to add it. Looks pretty good though. Uh, you got the green flames there. It's black. Some oxidation on the base, but not a big deal. And uh, this one will add to that uh, GTO collection. So fantastic. All right, next, I'm gonna keep it moving. I, that's the problem with these. We're already at 21 minutes. I really gotta speed this up a little bit. Eh? Okay, this is odd. I don't know what it is. Oh, I mean, I know what kind of car it is. It's a Chrysler, what, 300, but what brand is this? Any guesses before I flip her over? It's got an opening hood, it appears. It is a scale 164 Chrysler, made in China, Chrysler, 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 made in China. No idea. Still don't know. It's definitely not 164 scale. It's small. It's got an opening hood which um, is a bit of a step up from the green light, right? It doesn't have an opening hood, but the green light, I'm guessing, is way more scale. It's a lot larger. So I'm going to consider this a winner, though. It is odd. It is weird. I don't know what brand it is, where it came from. Made in China, copyright Chrysler 2008. So, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I'm not even going to guess. I mean, it could be like some dealership promo thing I, I have no no real clue so there's that one that definitely goes in the oddball die cast pile and let's get more of these open here I'm gonna try to go faster there we go that is a green light 4830 Dodge Cornette tooling number 10 for green light and really we're just looking at some quality here it has a little bit of paint rash on it which I've noticed some older uh, green lights now I've seen a couple that have had some issues with paint still don't know what causes paint rash exactly definitely want to investigate that and find out more but it's got the same thing you would see in like a t uh, older and it's typical of this color this black gloss black seems to be the worst offender for this for paint rash but it's not terrible, it's not bad, and it's definitely acceptable to go in the collection. So this is still a winner to me. It's a pretty nice looking car. It's an older uh, green light, so it's not exactly a super easy one to come by necessarily, as far as I know. I don't know what series it's from, so I guess I can't say that definitively. I don't think it's black banded, otherwise it'd have a black interior. But whatever, it's, it's cool. All right, so green light. Hot Wheels, this one we don't need to spend much time looking at. It's just a Baja Beetle. This is just one of those odd Hot Wheels castings that I enjoy. I've liked since I was a kid, so I collect it. I've got a ton of different variations of it. And I don't think I had this variation, so I've added this variation to the collection. It's from the Hot Wheels Classic series. I think it's from the last wave of classics. So as you're looking up that one, I'll go ahead and open up another one here. Here we go. We've got a lot of oddball brands in this batch. Um, so this one, it's a Lamborghini Countach. It is, uh, what brand is that that has this weird like looking base, but it's barred out. It's made in Hong Kong though. If it's made in Hong Kong, it's, it's probably pretty old. Actually, it rolls pretty good. It's got suspension. Weird, 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 weird stuff. We are going to add that to the oddball collection. I've got a lot of weird die casts. I should do, uh, like, just kind of a 
oddball diecast showcase sometime where I just kind of go through some some older weird stuff that I've got in the collection because it's it, some of it's pretty interesting. Uh, this has got to be a Johnny Lightning. Yep, Johnny Lightning GTO. Again, a casting I collect. This is a weird one where it's got plastic tires and it's got a plastic base. Um, other than that, it looks great. Opening hood, it's in perfect shape. There's no issues with it. No dust, no chips, nothing, no paint rash. Smooth paint. Looks quite nice, actually. So this is definitely a, a winner. Uh, looks like we got another Hot Wheel. This is more Hot Wheels, I think, than I got in the last box. This is a GTO from the Classics series. Looks to be in good shape. Uh, one thing you can kind of glean from looking at uh, me open up these boxes of random cars is kind of what I really like to collect when I go after uh, when I see them cheap and this is kind of interesting because this is kind of what I would do at a toy show because you know we can't go to toy shows or die cast meets anymore so we have to resort definitely to like stuff like Facebook and stuff right now to kind of go on the hunt for some oddball stuff I thought this was a good buy. This is, I think this might have came out as a blue card. It might have came out as a black wall. I'm not entirely sure. I think I've got the yellow one uh, version of this car somewhere. And I just decided to pick up this orange one because it was cheap. And I believe this was on a blue card originally. Uh, copyright date's 1988 for it. So yeah, that would make sense. It would probably be sold on a blue card because I think the yellow one came out first, and that was on a like you know could be considered a black wall or whatever. T bucket, I think that's the name of this casting. Hey, it's a cool oldie. So it's one of the few oldies I think that I've picked up uh, from one of these sales. Uh, let's see what's next. It's gonna be like a forty-minute video. Ooh, a Ferrari. And it looks to be in decent shape, but obviously was rolled around a bit. I don't know what series this is from. It looks to be maybe Milestones. And actually, you know what? Sorry to say, I'm going to call this one a dud. I think it might clean up a little bit, but you can tell the wheels have had some action. So sadly, I think this one's not going to join the collection. This will end up in kind of like my little for sale pile. Might look better on camera. Honestly, in person, it doesn't look that great. We've got some issues with the windshield. And I don't think any of this will clean up. It's just like kind of like some scratches on the windshield. But it, you can tell that it was heavily dusty beforehand. So we're going to call that one a loser, even though it's a cool casting. This, I was super surprised, showed up on there. Anybody know what this is? Now, I have this casting in red, and I got it from my buddy Tor. And I was amazed to see this pop up. It's a Kyosho. Lamborghini LM002. And it's in good shape. So scoring this sucker for three bucks... is actually pretty major i mean this it's a kyosho it's got you know your lens detail headlights taillights all that great stuff and uh it's in great shape there you know there might be a little rubbing here on the uh both the little tips of the side mirrors but that is acceptable condition to enter my collection and that is cool so that is a definite winner um that is a huge winner uh, for that, to score that for that cheap. Uh, this next one is a Johnny Lightning van, a GMC van. I don't think I had this one. It's in red. If that van guy is watching this video, I'm sure he can tell me what series this is from. Just plain old red. I have no idea. I don't have it. I know that. So that is a winner. Glad to glad to enter that one into the collection. Because I collect that casting. Oh, this is sweet. Okay. If this is in great shape, please be in good shape. Please be in good shape. And it is in good shape. 
real good. It's a Porsche. Duh. Okay, it's a Johnny Lightning Porsche. These Johnny Lightning Porsches are not easy to come by. And I have two of them. I've got a black one and I've got a kind of root beer brown one. This one is in silver and I did not have it. A little roughness in the paint up here, but I think that's probably just how it came out of the package. And this is also a pretty good score for the price I paid for it, which was probably likely $3. And uh, that is absolutely fantastic. That is a score. That is, might be one of, the, I think the Kyosho is probably the best score probably that's gonna show up in this box. But this one, it might be second, second place. All right, so we got, you know, I still have a few more here. So bear with me. We got about seven, eight more here. Little Mini Cooper. I picked up a red one. In the last episode. Uh, this one's actually got the Malibu diecast name on it. Not green light. So this is the Malibu diecast version of this release. I've already got the green light one. This is Malibu. It's the same same tooling, just released under a different brand name. But here it is in yellow. It's a nice version of this car. Car may not be terribly exciting, but it's a good version of it. It's got uh, inserted details for headlights, inserted details for taillights. We got a plastic base and stuff, but it does have rubber tires. It's got decent looking wheels. It's in good shape, and that's also a score to me. Um, so I guess I should have. The best ones are coming last here, it seems. <clears throat> the best good ones are coming at the end. After 31 minutes. GTO, another GTO. I might actually have this. I'm going to have to check. Same casting as that one. I might already have this one and if I do this one will be up for grabs if local shows ever become a thing again so plastic base on this one as well plastic tires on this one as well opening hood feature there you go so there's that <clears throat> uh, this next one looks like it's a hot wheel Ooh, this is a good one this is a good one if it's in good shape base looks great Tires look like it hasn't been played with, and the car is in excellent condition. Awesome. Firebird. I didn't have this one. I think this one is from the Garage Series. Again, I get confused between if it was put out in the Garage Series or the Boulevard Series. You know, it's that era. I wasn't collecting at that time, so I couldn't tell you much more. But I think it's Garage 67 Pontiac Firebird. Of course, it's a casting I collect. It's a Firebird. The wheels are a little crazy on it. They stick out of the, the wheel wells, but who cares? It's a Firebird. It's in good shape, and I like it. That is definitely a winner. Let's see. All right. I promise I'm going to go quick. We're going to try to end this video in under 40 minutes. Shoot. Ah, ripping the bag up. Green light. See the green post. It's a Corvette. And a pretty good looking one, I would say. I think I might have an example of this tooling, but it's a convertible. Number 2138. Uh, tooling number 17C. I think this has an opening hood. Uh, maybe it doesn't. No, it doesn't. <clears throat> I thought that hood might have opened up but it doesn't. Plastic top because they made a convertible version of this. It is in good shape. It looks to be good. I think I just got this because I needed an example of the like hard top version of the tooling. So Not the best wheel choice for it, I don't think. But it looks okay. Kind of reminds me of a Johnny Lightning um, in that regard. Uh, ooh, looks like we got an odd one. This was another one that I was like, what is this? What is this thing? It's a Chevy Lumina, right? Or is it? Ooh. Okay, this is awesome, I think. <laughs> In my opinion, it is a Pontiac Trans Sport, which is a Chevy, it's a Chevy Lumina, right? Kind of, maybe. I don't know. It's a Majorette. 
And it's got some orange peel in the paint, but that's probably normal. It's, uh, it's all over. Um, it's an older majorette. It's got suspension. And this is definitely weird. So this goes into my majorette collection, I guess. I've got a few majorettes, a few older ones. That is an oddball, right? Yeah, that's an oddball casting. So pretty, pretty neat. Uh, that's that's a winner to me. I don't know how many of you guys would actually be into the looking at that or thinking that's cool, but I think it's quite cool. Uh, here's another one I think that's pretty cool. This is a Johnny Lightning. Oh, weird. Huh. I think when I first. I'm a little confused here on this one. So this is a Johnny Lightning. Gosh, it looks an awful lot like the green light tooling for this car. I guess it's not, but it does look an awful lot like it. So it's black with flames, right? I guess it was the series of Johnny Lightning. It does not. Oh, it does. It does have an opening hood. Hmm. Is that 666? Or is that 999? 999. Okay. Right. That's pretty cool. I don't think I have the, the Johnny Lightning version of this tooling. I've got, I think, quite a few of the green light. And gosh, that looks super close to the green light. Even the wheels look like green light wheels, but it says Johnny Lightning on the bottom. I might have to do some investigating on that one to see about that tooling, what happened with that. Ooh, this one looks good. I think this is another Johnny. <coughs> Thunderbolt. That looks like the wheel needs a little love, but I can fix that. Other than that, <coughs> it appears to be in pretty good shape. This is a Johnny, yeah, it is a Johnny Lightning. Thunderbolt. I like the wheel choice on it. It looks pretty awesome. Opening hood. Lots of detail in there for the motor. So this one's a winner. I think this one's pretty cool. I gotta fix the wheels in the back. They're a little bit weird. Those three-piece wheels can kind of get weird <coughs> in the package even. So fix that, but that's pretty sweet. <clears throat> and then lastly, oh, this one's really weird. Okay, I don't even know why I picked this one up. This is it. This is going to be the last car. Uh, and it's a loser. You know what? I, I bet you I thought this was a, because it, it, it's hard to gauge scale. Too. This one's filthy, too, by the way. Um, it's hard to gauge scale when you're looking at these in jammers, too. And I'm telling you, this one I thought was probably a green line Camaro. And it isn't. It's a huge Jada toys thing. So this one's a loser. Last one's bad. I'm, I'm not going to keep that in my collection. Sorry about it. <clears throat> oh, no. Was that like that? Or did that just happen? If that was like that, that is a loser too, unfortunately. I don't see it anywhere, so, right? Unless I just threw it away in the bag. It, it's possible it came out. I remember looking at the back of it, but I don't remember looking at the front of it. So if that's how the front of it looks, uh, that sucks. That one will also go in the, I guess, for sale pile, or maybe I can make a custom out of it or something like that at some point in time, but that's gonna be it. So really though, the big winners here, is, is that Porsche for sure. Um, the other one that's a huge winner is this Kyosho. And there's a bunch of other really good ones in here. There are some duds for sure. But like I said, that's a risk you take when you do this kind of stuff. Um, when you're looking at these sales on Facebook, it's pretty easy just to go, you know, number letter, number letter, number letter, you know, try to jump on some stuff and try to get some stuff fast. And you kind of get carried away sometimes. You get some stuff you may not really even want to keep. And if you don't have really time to really inspect the uh, the pictures close, you might end up with stuff like that. So that's it.
So thanks for playing. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day. And uh, thanks.